Now, as the International Rose of Tralee Festival draws to a close, some street traders are saying that business in the town is down this year. The recession is being blamed. However, the economy was of little concern today for the New Orleans Rose, who got the surprise of her life on the stage last night. If there are one group of people synonymous with the Rose Festival, it's the street traders. Holy braces, only Willie children. Egan has been bringing his stall here for 30 years, and trade this year is not so good. Quid, quid. There was two extra days this year compared to any other year. Post me for the gathering, this thing, but I didn't see any gathering. Very few people here on holidays. I can't see anyone on holidays. You know what I mean? Very few people. For candle maker Peter O'Regan, he believes trade is down for one reason only. You have to blame it on the economy because people just don't seem to have the money to, to spend. The older people or the elderly people with the pensions, they're still buying a candle. The people with families, with young children, they're not buying. Festival organisers, though, are pleased with how the 54th annual event is going. We're very happy that the festival is getting a little bit stronger every year. Uh, and even in recessionary times, I think um, it's, it's nice that something like the Rose of Tree can continue to grow both locally and as a televised event. Meanwhile, love was still in the air today for the New Orleans Rose, whose boyfriend last night went on bended knee on stage to propose. I'm still on cloud nine, but I'm still feeling the buzz of it of the excitement overall, so fantastic. When you're in love, you'll do anything, and um, I knew that it'd surprise her as uh, everybody saw the shock on her face when I came out on stage, so um, you know, it's exciting for, for both of us last night. The new Rose Truly will be crowned around 20 past 11 tonight. Geraldine Harney, RT News, Truly.